Hey guys, so what we are going to do today is we are going to polish this piece of green fluorite. Um, this is a piece that I found out at Nancy Hanks Gulch. Um, and uh, how we are going to polish it today, if you do not own any lapidary um, machines or anything of the such, you can use um, some wet sandpaper. Um, so that's how we're going to polish this today. Um, this pack of sandpaper um, it ranges between 180 all the way up to 3,000. You get five sheets of each grit. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this, it's uh, I believe $7.99 on Amazon. There will be a link down in the description, and it lasts uh, a good while. Um, so pretty much, uh, let's see. I'm gonna come over here for a second. Um, in order to polish the green fluorite, pretty much what you want to do is you want to have a bowl of some water or some, some sort so that way you can keep getting the sandpaper wet. Um, it's best to wear, make sure you wear a mask, uh, like a face mask, so that way you're not breathing in any dust. Um, and um, safety uh, glasses as well, just to make sure no little flakes or anything um, or dust gets in your eyes and so forth. Um, so pretty much what we are going to do, I'm going to open up the pack. Um, the re and real quick, the reason why I am using fluorite for this video, fluorite is a soft stone, generally ranges I believe around 4 to 5 for the hardness or Mohs hardness uh, scale. And um, so fluorite, I've done fluorite before, I've also done agates and so forth. Agates take a little bit longer, but uh, uh, last time I, I did this with a piece of fluorite it turned out so beautiful after I wrapped it and uh, I want to do it again but on camera for you guys. So pretty much, we're going to go ahead and start with the 180 grit, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and get it wet. And we're just going to go ahead and, um, well, let's see. So for the stone, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. So the, for the stone, how it has this bevel going, the natural bevel already, we're going to go ahead and just kind of put a bevel over on this side and just kind of make this the face of the stone and I'll uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna polish this side or not um, maybe keep it raw not fully sure um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start polishing this using the 180 grit and I normally just go back and forth using the sandpaper uh, we'll see how long this stage goes for That already worked really well just for like has maybe 45 seconds and I'm not sure if the camera's focusing because I'm looking I don't I'm not looking at the screen. Um but it let's see, hold on. Let me put the flash on. See if you guys can see that, but it's already looking really nice um for doing this for about 45 seconds. So I'm gonna continue and do the sides and then start doing the bevel side. Yeah, it looks nice. So it's not perfect, but it's good enough for this video. Um, there's a lot more fractures taking place on, in the stone than I thought there was. So we're just gonna work with it. And uh, hold on, let's see if I can get that one out. Get it to shave down a little bit. It's fine. So pretty much, whenever you are finished with one stage, take the stone um, over to the sink and get an old toothbrush and wash it with some soap and water so that way you're not contaminating the grits between sandpapers so that way you're when you're working with like a higher grit you don't accidentally catch a lower grit um, piece of dust and it puts scratch marks that you can't get out uh, unless you go backwards so I'll be right back when go wash this off I'll be right back 
Okay, after that grit, this is what the sun looks like. You can see the beautiful going on in the sun. It's a little fractured right there, but that's the back side, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to go ahead and go up to the next stage and uh, keep on going. We're going to go up to 280. And just start, uh, we're going to continue to smooth down the edges and any rough edge um, and get out all of the scuff marks from the previous stage. I think I originally said I was going to put a bevel on this side. I'm just going to keep it as this shape, uh, freeform. And uh, yeah, because I I'm, I'm actually don't mind the, the shape of it. Okay, so once you get the stone pretty much how you want it, we're going to go to the next step. But first, we're going to go inside and wash this off with some soap and water. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what the stone looks like currently. And we're going to move to the next stage. It's looking pretty good. I don't see any issues on the face of it. So we're going to skip 300 and jump up to about 400. And uh, go, go from there. The next step will be 600 after this step. It's getting a little chilly outside after the sun goes down and the water's already getting pretty cold. Let's go ahead and start though. Race in the sun before it goes down. I've been, I've been trying to do more videos outside because it's so nice um, before the winter snow and cold hits, you know? I think we are done with this stage. We're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go inside, wash this off, so soap and water, and be right back, and we'll be going to stage number 600. Okay, so this is what the stone currently looks like. And when, like I said, we are going to stage 600 now. So, like I said, this is what it looks like, and we are going to go ahead and start, and working all the sides that we have been working um, to take off all of these small scuffs from that previous stage and let's go with these finer grits you're gonna start seeing more of the polish start coming out I'm rocking it right here to uh, get that the flat face of of the stone and the bevel of the stone. Uh, I'm just trying to get it nice and even, and it is looking good. Okay, so I think I'm done with this stage. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'll get it a little bit closer for y'all. Here's what the stone looks like currently. And uh, I'm going to take this inside and wash it off and be right back on stage 800. Okay, guys. Here is the stone. It's looking pretty good. We're going to start on 800. Okay.
Sometimes if you can't get the angle when you're sanding, it's perfectly fine and normal to pick up the sandpaper and do it like this by hand. Because there's some areas I'm just not getting on a flat surface. Okay, so I think I'm done with stage 800. Oh, hold on. let me get the tip of this real quick. Pretty sure I already got it, but just in case. So this is what the stone looks like currently. I'm gonna go wash it off, be right back. Okay, and we are back. Here is the stone of what it looks like. We are going with 1500 grit. I'll probably spend about two to five minutes on this stage and then we'll be going to 2000. The finer the grit, the shinier it gets. I need some more water. Okay, we are done with this stage and we're going to be jumping to 3000, which is going to be the final stage. So here it is currently, and we're going to be jumping to the next stage, which is 3000 after I wash this off. Okay, this is the blue sheet. Okay, I think we are done now. I'm gonna wash it off just with the water that I have right here, real quick. That is what it looks like. Beautiful inclusions in it. See a little bit of ham uh, hematite banding going on on the inside. And then on the back side, that, that brown right there, I think that's some mudstone that's inside. We're gonna wash this off and I'll be right back. So once the stone is complete, which I have it dried off now, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, to bring out the luster of the color a little bit more, I will soak it. I'll get some uh, uh, mineral oil and put mineral on it mineral oil on it and let it soak for generally about an hour and then I'll wipe it uh, clean it with soap and water and uh, you'll see the finished piece shortly after that so let's go ahead and put some mineral oil on hope that luster color come out I'm just gonna wrap this up in this soaked paper towel and see you guys shortly in about an hour Okay, and for the final piece, this is what it looks like after it was soaking in um, mineral oil. Um, those little tiny little fractures you see is part of the stone. I believe those are healed fractures because whenever I was polishing it, I didn't get any pieces uh, crumbling off or anything as such. But I think it turned out uh, pretty beautiful. I may touch it up a little bit right here on the edge a little bit later. Um, and get that a little bit more even, um, kind of like how this side looks. Um, but for what it is for this video, I think it actually turned out pretty good. Again, like I said, there's a chip there, but this is the back of it, so it doesn't really matter. And earlier, I think in the video, I think I mentioned that these brown, orange, red mar marks going through it were mudstone, but it's actually, there you go, you can see a better image of it right there. Um, it's actually hematite um, mixed in there with the fluorite. Um, and 
There are certain areas that I thought I saw pieces of calopyrite. Um, but it could just be little, yeah, like right there. Little fragments of uh, calopyrite and so forth. But I think it turned out pretty, uh, pr pretty good for uh, being hand polished. Like I said, this stuff is really easy to polish by hand. Um, but uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, uh, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I also plan on wire wrapping this um, in the near future. Let me know down in the comments if I should wire wrap it on video um, and so forth. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on, find some cool rocks, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace out.